Hi, I'm Axel Naumann from CERN. CERN is a physics laboratory. It's, uh, it's one which does basic physics research. We're just curious over here. We're trying to understand nature even better than we do uh, already. And we do that by means of a particle accelerator. Now the problem that people face over here, and with people I mean those building the detector, the people who write the software, and the physicists doing the analysis, the problem that they face over here is precision. The way we improve precision is by having lots of data. Because if things happen more often, then we can be more certain that they actually did happen. And that's why we have these four terabytes of data that we take every year, just to make sure that we see the rare things often enough. Now, of course, software and analysis, and also the detector, have inefficiencies so that we miss some of the spectacular things that we are looking for. By improving the software, we can thus accelerate the results. We have means to measure the quality of our software, but of course we want our software to not be sensitive to a certain particle. Say there comes a Higgs. If our software would crash every time there is a Higgs in the data, then we would never find it. So even though we can measure the quality, we still want to make sure that it's as bug-free as possible. At CERN, we have a software base of approximately 50 million lines of code. Um, that's mostly experiment software. Um, one part that is shared by all the experiments, because it's a tool to them, is the root project software. Um, that's about 2.5 million lines of code. We ran Coverity originally only on the root project um, as a test case, basically. Because even 2.5 million lines of code, that is a lot of code. Um, when we were seeing the results and the quality and the relevance of the reports, we then went over to the experiments and offered it to them. Now, despite of all the compilers that we use, which really do a great job in, in finding problems with our code, there were a few cases, um, very um, interesting ones also, that really only Coverity finally discovered. It's unbelievable that we, with all our machinery, did not manage to find it before. So we looked at a few tools, and some of them even had websites for, for their reports of the static analysis. The nice thing about Coverity is that the reports it has are very easy to understand. Of course, that also helps in adoption, because if you have relevant reports, and reports that are easy to understand, then you can convince people to actually go fix the code. So for us, Coverity really improved the quality of our software, both for the tools like Root and for the experiment software. I really hope that we finally manage to find the Higgs, maybe this year, maybe next year. And of course, I hope that we will get a high quality, precise measurement here at CERN. And I would say, once we find it, if we find it, that Coverity has its share um, in that result.